An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. The genuine expression. The soul. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, true egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your common gilded style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. On this episode of Paradigm Shift, an educational comedy, we're going to get a little geeky. This laptop is a gay tway. <laughs> Dude, he said like gay tway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a gateway N E. Five, six, R, three, one, U. And the manufacturing date is 9 19 2012. But it's actually a halfway decent computer with uh, some really nice specifications and a lot better than you know, you'd expect out of a gateway. And this laptop actually belongs to Thinking Kristen, one of our PSEC personas. And I'm repairing it for her. Um, I also repaired the outside of the case because it had, you know, all sorts of stains and stuff on it. And, no, I don't mean anything disgusting by that. Ooh, you perverted frickin' viewers out there. What's wrong with you? Anyway, um, and the keyboard um, was also busted. had some keys missing and stuff. So I replaced the keyboard and cleaned the whole outside and everything. But um, the most important aspect of what I'm doing with this is that this thing used to run Windows 8, and Windows 8 is probably, like, eh, one of the biggest pieces of shit out there. Um, so, I totally wiped out Windows 8, and I've been in the process of putting uh, Linux on here. So, I'm going to show you what I've done with that so far. The version of Linux Mint that I had put on this uh, laptop because it is a um, fairly powerful 64-bit laptop. Um, it's Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon Desktop 64-bit. Now even though they are up to 17.1 um, version 16 has proven to be the most stable so far. So that's why I'm using version 16. Linux Mint has several different types of um, desktops. Cinnamon is one desktop. Um, and these versions also come in 64-bit and 32-bit. Obviously, Mate is another type of desktop. And that's kind of based on the GNOME desktop. Because with uh, Linux, there's all different flavors of Linux. And then um, you can choose what desktop environment you want. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from. Um, on linuxmint.com, the desktop environment that um, the Linux Mint folks themselves have created is Cinnamon. 
but um, you know the others you can get Linux Mint and um, Mate XSCE um, I do believe also you know KDE and some versions of Linux Mint have other options and um, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu Linux and um, so you can go to Ubuntu.com um, these versions of Linux they're free they're open source um, you can download them for free the ISO files then you could if you're running Windows you could use a software called CD burner XP which um, is like even more advanced than uh, Nero burning ROM only that too is free <laughs> And um, that'll help you burn that image to uh, to a disk so that you can use it to, you know, install it if you'd like. I want to give you a little tour <coughs> of what I've done so far. Here we go. So we got more than one profile here. <coughs> Excuse me. Dan, Kaylee, Kristen, Kyle, Peggy, Dave. Obviously, Dave is me, and I have my own account on here for various administrative tasks and stuff, and it's the account that I start with when I first install Linux on anything. Obviously, I'm in the habit of making, you know, my own account as a prime account, because I'm usually setting up my own systems. So, <clears throat> Kristen's account was the second account I made, and um, she obviously also has administrative access on there, and other than me, she's the only one who does, because I'm going to be teaching her how to use Linux. I don't want anybody on this list here to... Uh, be able to go into some administrative settings or something and do God knows what and accidentally like fuck the entire machine up. So, you know, it's just a typical end user administrative sort of deal. Just like with anything. I'm teaching Kristen how to be an administrator. And the other people in the household do not know how to be the administrator. So, there you go. So that's the way it's rolling. Alrighty. But, um, each user does have their own customizable profile. <clears throat> and so each person can play with the look and feel of their desktop. And it will not infringe upon anybody else's settings. So, that is pretty cool. So now, we're going to log in as Kristen. <coughs> Alrighty, then. Now, I have uh, installed tons of Linux uh, games and utilities and stuff on here for her to mess around with. Um, I don't know how well you're all going to be able to, to read this, but I'm in the accessories uh, menu here. Games. There's an unholy shitload of games. Graphic softwares. Internet. <clears throat> Let's 
sound and video. Wine, the wine slash play on Linux. Um, that let's let let you install. Oh, a good a good deal of Windows programs on Linux actually. So administration places, so on and so forth. Um, play on Linux. Let's just load that up right here just for a moment. So this will let you install all kinds of uh, Windows stuff. Now, Windows 7 is supposedly quite a lot better than uh, <clears throat> Windows 8. And so on the off chance her or Dan happen to need to do anything Windows related, which... <clears throat> Man, my throat's just acting up today. Which for Kristen will be not very often at all. And for Dan, I don't know. Maybe not very often. Maybe very often. I have no idea. But I installed a Windows 7 virtual machine. It's wind blows. And I've got Google Chrome on here. IE, of course, is a piece of shit. Under Linux, I typically use Firefox. I'm not a big Chrome fan, but Google Chrome is capable of doing something kind of cool. Um, okay, Google. Paradigm shift an educational comedy. Ah, uh, not quite. Okay, Google. Paradigm shift an edu ki wow really <coughs> you know it did this before <coughs> okay so it's not a perfect system okay google paradigm shift and educational comedy oh my god it did it that time yay he did it all by himself. Holy fuck. He's a smart motherfucker. Alright. Wow. Look at that shit. So it pulled that up on Google simply just because I told it to. Isn't it a brilliant little fuck? There's Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, da da da. Okay, um. <clears throat> Okay, Google. Transvestite whore fuck douchebags. Oh, come on. You can't even swear you're going to start out. Really? You Naziistic bastard. <clears throat> okay, Google. Internet censorship. Oh, wow. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. 
Enough fucking around with that. Okay. <clears throat> I've also installed a little something called Steam, which is all about freaking gaming. And I know people in that household are all up on the gaming shit. And I really am not incredibly fluent with Steam. I don't really do that much gaming or anything like that. At least not these days. Steam. Play the latest games, find your friends, find the best servers, get automatic updates, chat with friends. Even when in-game, receive Steam-only special offers. <clears throat> so, I obviously can't continue without an account, and I don't currently have an account. But if you want to know more about Steam, you can do a search for that on Google, on YouTube. All kinds of cray cray like that. It's all good. Um, some of you might like my little Firefox icon there. <laughs> little fox munching away at the Explorer E. Yep. The weather widget here. Sometimes I've noticed that <laughs> sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's been uh, going through some kind of PMS thing lately. I don't know, but right now it's just not working. Um, there are plenty of times when uh, it does work, so it's kind of hit or miss with that. But when that widget is being a little whorebag, uh, we do have the weather right up there. You know fair, 30 degrees, so on and so on. See, and I got the full uh, <clears throat> weather report that comes up when I click that. Thursday, sunny, the low is 34, the high is 58. Friday, mostly cloudy, low is 42, the high is 58. So on and so on and so on. So. Of course, I got a nice little calculator widget here. Now, there's still a lot of stuff I'm, you know, installing and putting on here and configuring because I want to make sure that everything is as perfect as possible. I obviously have her video projects and stuff backed up. She's definitely wanting to get a bit more hardcore into making YouTube videos and things like that. And of course you can um, look her up by doing a Google search for Thinking Kristen and you'll find her. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course I'm also giving her some various, you know, documentary stuff that I have. Um, Alan Watts, Ben Stewart, Bruce Lipton Lectures, David Talbot, David Wilcock, Greg Braden, Max Egan, Nussam Harriman, Terrence McKenna, and of course, you know, a few things of a more pirated nature, but uh, we won't go into that. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Okay, I'm like I have some of her projects and stuff here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that all these videos were part of videos that she has already uploaded to YouTube, so I'm just going to demonstrate, and I don't think I'm going to be revealing anything that hasn't already been revealed anyway. So, okay, going to open that in VLC Media Player. Okay, and <clears throat> this is a bit soft, but we can go into the 
impress with myself for sound settings. Before noticing that I did it. I care too much about what other people thought of me. And we got the output volume thing down here, what? and we can raise um, that way up. Like it permeated like every aspect of my life. My family, you know, making so, friends, cool. friends that I had. <clears throat> and that works Put perfect. Myself out there. And for example, like I'm still a bit jittery making. And I'm going to be making this video itself um, using this very laptop, actually. Seeing as this should not require more than two rendering passes. I'm obviously recording the first rendering pass for the video here. Um, I'm using under the lossless high quality. I'm using the... Um, MPEG-2 Code C or Codec or however you want to pronounce that and it's rendering right now and because MPEG tends to be you know on the fly streamable that sort of thing I can play it back while it's rendering As you can see, I'm actually playing it back while it's rendering at the same time. It's not a cause. That's pretty cool, huh? It's not a Check that it's out. Rather neat. It's an idea. It's an intention. A mindset in which reality can be Pretty badass, I think. Absolutely. So, I am rendering this video that you're watching right now. I'm able to show you this because I'm rendering down the first pass. So, obviously I won't be able to show you the second pass because then that'll be the final version of it. But, I'm showing you the uh, the first pass rendering and um, I've also got Skype call recorder on here for her so here's the directory for those and I got a Skype test call that is recorded so we're just gonna play that back right now service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. <coughs> this is a test message because I am testing Skype and the Skype call recorder and blah blah blah, so this is just a test, so yeah. This is a test message because I am testing Skype, yeah. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then something is wrong with your audio recording settings. Please check your microphone and microphone settings, or visit Skype.com for more help. Thank you for using the Skype call testing service. Goodbye. Obviously, I signed on to my own Skype account in order to test that. Of course, I have a nice little educational directory filled with a bunch of different things, and internet radio audio directory and uh, I'm also going to be picking some various you know music and stuff from my independent library and maybe even my mainstream library and so on and so forth but haven't gotten that far yet so you know we got a uh, typical kind of directory system you know um, desktop documents downloads Caden Live, music, pictures, play on Linux's virtual drives, public screenshots, templates, videos, virtual box, VMs, wallpapers, you know. And I put a shitload of wallpapers in that directory. Yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. Um, so this is, you know, the 
video editing software that I use to make uh, Paradigm Shift episodes and all that good stuff. It's called Caden Live, and it's pretty sweet. It's got a file rendering. I like to go to uh, lossless high quality. And it doesn't do some of the code C's on here for this, but see here the um the FFV1 lossless video plus FLAC sound that renders down to MKV format. Then we have um MPEG2 format, which um is what I ultimately end up rendering down into, and that records the best, in my humble opinion. Let's see what I could do about getting some of these other code C's installed on here as well. Um, yeah, so I'll go through and see what other plugins and stuff I could put in there. Like I said, I'm not done configuring this, so there's still a bit to do, so yeah. Um, I put GIMP on here. GIMP is like basically the equivalent of Adobe Photoshop. So you know you can see all that. And yes, uh, everything I've installed on here is on, is on the other profiles as well. Although, only two profiles have their own virtual machine. Those virtual machines take up a bit of space. Okay, so... This is Audacity. Windows users might be familiar with... Um, I do believe Adobe made something called Audacious or something. And, um, there used to be cool at it. Anyway, there's a, there's a bunch of different, um, Windows, you know, waveform editing softwares. But, um, the Linux version of this has tons of effects plugins already pre-installed, pre like, an annoying amount of them. <laughs> It would take, like, a very long time to actually go through them all and mess with them all. I haven't even done that. So, I mean, there's a lot to explore in here. Yes, yes. Test, test, test. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look. You can see my voice in a blue waveformy thingy. Holy crap, look at that. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, so bring that back and hit the play button. Yes, yes. Test, test, test. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look. You can see my voice in a blue waveformy thingy. Holy crap, look at that. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. And hey, I can even make it echo. Fun little features and shit. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, there's a bunch of stuff I put in here and that I'm configuring and other stuff I need to install and other things I need to add, so I just wanted to give 
you know, a basic overview. And I was going to give an overview of some of the other user profiles and stuff on here, but, you know, I've done screenshots of those for Kristen and all that, and, and I really don't feel like getting into all that right now, especially because this video is going to be, like, so freaking long as it is. Um, so yeah. But I will also say that, um, I have installed the 32-bit Mate, M-A-T-E, version of Linux onto Kristen's keychain drive. So... Even though I'm still also configuring that, and there's a lot to walk through that um, I'm not going to walk through on it, I do at least want to show the process of, you know, this computer booting up off of this, because it's pretty damn cool. And I've got um, a Windows 7 virtual machine on here as well. So, yeah, you know, frickin', um carry along windows here which is kind of funny <laughs> at least when you load up the virtual machine otherwise it's just Linux yay we are plugged in here we go And we see it's a different login screen, don't we? There isn't a bunch of frickin' usernames all over the place. Because this is Kristen's uh, drive, so... I'm going to just log in here. And this is so that she can boot this up off of any computer. Yeah, a little bit of a different type of menu there. It's all good. Um, so yeah. She could boot this up off of any computer. I have the 32-bit version on here so that, you know, she's not limited to only 64-bit systems. So this will boot up off of a 32-bit system as well. So, yeah. And here's the, you know, again, just the, the Mate desktop. This is a nice little file explorer thingy. Yeah, it's all, you know, pretty cool. And this is booted straight up off of here. <clears throat> so yeah, so concludes the, uh, the little tour. And of course, um, if you want to check out Linux Mint for yourself, you can just go to uh, linuxmint.com and that's a free download. And again, the, uh, the CD burning software is um, CD Burner XP. 
So you can do a search for that and you should find that with no problem. So alrighty, I'm going to be rendering this video together now using this uh, laptop. So and thank you for watching um, Paradigm Shift in Educational Comedy and please share and uh, subscribe and like and comment and well, you get the idea. Alrighty, catch y'all later.